Thank you. 
Ferryman Christian Academy, and it's the Conquerors versus the Faith Baptist Knights. We're about to get this game underway. We just had the starting lineups, the opening prayer, and our senior night festivities, and now we are ready to play some ball. Off the jump for the Faith Knights, number 23, Cayman Gray. He's going to go against Colt Muller, and the ball is tip control. Knights, layup shot up. Good. That's Joey Tarks, number one. That's his first two, and it's 2 nothing Knights. Down the other side, Titus Ramos hit to Colt Muller. And they'll hand it off to Roman Dell. He's going to be the point guard for tonight's game. He'll penetrate. Hand off to Alec Mitchell, the senior. And a pass inside stolen by Joey Tarks. Alec's on it. And we got a hole on the arm. It's going to be against Alec Mitchell. That's going to be his first. Early action. Faith versus Fairhaven. And it's going to be Faith ball after Alec Mitchell commits the personal foul. Three seniors on the floor for the Conquerors. Alec Mitchell, Titus Ramis, and Colt Muller. Edmund Schrock and Roman Delhay joined them. And Faith, Joey Targs back to Ballesteros, and he ends off to Horry. Top of the key, right corner. Spin it around, and gets his man in the air. Instead, he traveled with the basketball. Here comes Roman Dele. Top of the key, Titus Ramos. The Conquerors need to establish their offense. They've looked pretty scatterbrained here in the first couple of possessions. Titus calls for a screen. None does come. Right corner, Alec Mitchell. Gets his man up. Finds Dele. Mid-range J is up. And it's around and out. Rebound. Ramos gets the board. Moeller, mid-range J. It's up. Out. Rebound. Faith with the basketball. Two good shots for the Conquerors but it's going the other way. That's Cayman Gray, hands off to Adams, gets his man up, scoops one up, no good. Rebound Gray, gets his man in the air, doesn't get the contact. Instead, Alec Mitchell comes away with the rebound. Still 2-0 fate. Titus pushes it in transition. He'll take it to the rack, layup shot up, around, out. Rebound Muller, off his hands, out of bounds, going to fate. 2-0 early action, 6.23 left to play in our first half. A little 2-2-1 pressure applied by the Conquerors. And we've got a push. Number 11, Roman Delhay, pushing the back. That's going to be his first. That's going to be the team's second personal foul. And Joey Parks brings it up over the timeline.
factoid. Penetrates, loses it. Strong with the steal. Hands off the Dele. Finds Ramis in transition. Goes up. Strong. No good. Moeller. Follow. No good. Rebound Moeller. Gets it back. Over to Schrock. Over to Ramis. And they'll settle it. Two really good looks. And set a mid-range J is up. Banked out. Rebound. Moeller. And a jump ball. No, we got a foul. Held him on the arm. Foul on number 22. 32. And that's going to be the first faith personal foul. That's Ben Bears, Dallas Stairs. That's his first. Inside to Ramis, wide open, six footer. He missed. Rebound, Faith in transition. One on one. Schrock, straight up. Layup. No. Rebound, Delay. Nice defense by Edmund Schrock. Instead, we got ourselves a push. Number 14. Applied to Payne, and it's going to be a foul on Faith. Their second. That's Christian Adams. That's his first. And Alec Mitchell gives to Roman Delay, and he'll bring it up over half court. He calls out the play. Delay. Mitchell. Layup. No. Rebound. Mitchell gets it back. Forces one up. He does get the whistle. That's a good play by Alec Mitchell. And a beautiful pass by Roman Delay. The Conquerors can't seem to buy one early, but Alec Mitchell is going to the free throw line. He has worked on these free throws. Let's see if he can pay him off. The first one for Mitchell is up and good. Nothing but the bottom for Alec Mitchell. The senior here on senior night gets his first point. It's two to one with five minutes and 23 seconds left on our first quarter clock. Alec Mitchell dribbles. He's ready for his second. It's airborne. It's bricked. Rebound, Faith. And here they come. They do play the transition game very well, the Faith Knights. That's Corey. Gets his man in the air. Finds Ballesteros for a three. Off the right rim. No good. Rebound, Schrock. The shortest guy on the floor. Bad decision. Oh, Roman Dele comes away with it. And they are in transition. To Ramis. Layup. No, he missed it. Oh, and a layup he missed. Oh, they're going to need that one back. 4.59 left and ticking in our first half. Oh, they're going to want that one back. Two to one, Conquerors trail it here early to Faith. Neither team seems to find their groove on the offensive end. That's inside Adams, mid-range day. He missed it, and the rebound grabbed by Ramis. Let's see if the Conquerors can establish some offensive rhythm here. They've been missing a lot of open shots. Delhi wide open right side three, short off the front iron, it's no good. Oh, gets his man in the air, he thought he traveled, and he spins and scores. That's number 12, Akira Hori. That's his first two. And it's four to one, Faith. Ramis to Moeller. Moeller back to Ramis. He shoots up a fadeaway mid-range. It's no good, and the rebound to Faith. They're settling the offense here. Pass inside. Good hands by Schrock. And it's gonna be a jump ball, held ball. And possession arrow is going to go to the Conquerors. The smallest guy on the court, Edmund Schrock, asserted himself on defense. And, and so for that, he is awarded with a chance at a possession here, trailing it by three. The Conquerors have got a lot of good wide open looks, but nothing has fallen right now. Right corner, Schrock. The delay. Short off the rim. That one looks good from our angle. And instead, it's a faith transition. Corey on the offensive end. Floats one up. Short off the rim. Gets his own miss. It looks like it's going to be out of bounds. No foul call. He wanted the contact. Didn't get it. And instead it's out of bounds. Off faith. And they're going to bring it up over the timeline. Trailing it by just three. They dodged a bullet there. And here comes Delhay. Inside to Ramis. Mid-range J. Flat off the back iron. No. Alec Mitchell the rebound. He missed again. They can't get one. And here comes Faith. Leading it by three. The Conquerors have had everything they've wanted on offense. They just can't make their shots. Good hands by Delhe. Batted it away. Instead, a wide open layup. Good defense by Alex to collapse. And Cole Muller has the rebound off to Ramis. And here they come, trailing it by three. Calls for a screen from Cole Muller. And the, that ball is saved by Mitchell. What a play. Into Muller. Wide open mid-range shot. Banked out. Rebound. Faith. Wow. Another missed wide open mid-range shot. The Conquerors have got to start hitting those. 
Here they come over the timeline. Corey inside. Damon Gray gets his man in the air. Gets the personal foul. Two free throws coming for Cayman Gray. That's on at number 11 for the Conquerors. Roman Dele, that's already his second personal foul. So two free throws coming for Cayman Gray. It's four to one. His first of two is up. It's good. Five to one. That was his second opportunity. The Conquerors haven't established an offensive rhythm. Moeller, another mid-range try. Way off the margin and the rebound. Kicked out of bounds. Off the hand of a Conqueror. So they're going to be down by four with two minutes left to go in our first quarter. Just that one point, the Alec Mitchell free throw, is the only points that they are showing on the scoreboard here for the Conquerors. Corey on the offensive end. Top of the key. Swing it. Way to the other side. Nice save there by Horry, and he gives off. And another one near steal by Petinia. He's in the game for the first time for the Conquerors. Gets his man in the air, gets his up, mess up, and up, no good. Number 14, Christian Adams went up, got his own rebound. Got it, missed it, but two free throws are coming. Christian Adams, he's going to try his first. Way off the mark. That's Alec Mitchell's second personal foul. The second one is up. This one's in and around. No good. And the rebound to Muller. Let's see if the Conquerors can get something going off the, on the offensive end. They're trailing it by only four. It could be worse. Runner in the lane. Good. Titus Ramos for two. Nice play by Titus Ramos. He scores it, and it's five to three. Conquerors trailing it by two. Strock with the full court defense. Long pass up ahead. Pass inside. Off the hands. Mitchell, what a play. Patinia off his hands to Faith. Nearly a beautiful play by Mitchell, but a turnover by Patinia, and Faith is going to settle it. 1.15 and ticking in our first half clock. Five to three. The Knights are on top of the Conquerors here on Senior Night. Ben Ballesteris, top of the key, it's Cayman Gray. Mismatched kicks for Cayman Gray. Swing it, Alex Horry, 4-8-3. High archer, off the back rim. No good, rebound, Ramis. They're gonna double team that. And he squirts through the defense. Pass inside, Patinia rejected out of there. And here they come on the offensive end. Horry pushes up a runner, no good. Rebound, Ramis. They're going to bounce on him there. 25 seconds of ticking on our first half clock. Moeller, mid-range, off the front higher, no good. Rebound, Faith, 18, 17, long pass up ahead. Oh, he got his foot in there, Drop. no ball. That's the second time today Edmund Trock has gotten in there. And here comes Silas Snyder. He's seeing his first minutes in the place of Christian Petinia. Roman Dele had to take a seat with those two personal fouls. And eight seconds of ticking. We're down to seven, but six. Five seconds left, down seven to three. A long half court he off the front iron, no good. And the Conquerors are going to go to first quarter break, trailing it seven to three. So the Conquerors got all the looks they needed and then some. Couldn't quite hit all of them. In fact, they missed almost all of them except for just one. Titus Ramis made a little runner from about five feet away. So Faith is the one holding the 7-3 to three lead at the end of the first quarter. Foul trouble has plagued the Conquerors here early. Already four personals whistled against the Conquerors. Roman Delhay with two. Alec Mitchell with two. Alec Mitchell got those two pretty quick, but they left him in there. They need that size to combat the speed of Faith. On Faith's side, we have two for Alex Horry. Akira Hori, sorry. 
two for Joey Tarks, and three for Cayman Gray. And then the scoring for the Conquerors, one for Mitchell, one, one for two from the free throw line. And then the lone basket made by the Conquerors from Titus Ramos. In the second quarter, you're going to look for the Conquerors to establish more offensive rhythm once they settle down a little bit. They'll start to hit those easy mid-range shots. And hopefully, and they're right in this game. This is no blowout by any means. But it's been a good game. First quarter by Faith, just controlling the controlling the possession. They haven't had many bad turnovers. A couple, but the Conquerors are the ones that look the most iffy right now. So they're going to want to shape things up. And that's no doubt what Coach Spooner is talking about there in the Conquerors huddle. Again, 7-3 at the end of the first quarter. They're back out to start the second quarter. Conquerors and Knights. Here on Senior Night. Titus Ramos, the senior, one of the three seniors for the Conquerors, bring it up over the timeline. Pass inside Moeller. He'll try another mid-range. This one is cleared out of there by Faith. Good defense. It's going to stay with the Conquerors. Nice defense. Moeller tried another mid-range shot. And it was squashed by Faith. Drop, airmailed it. A little too quick on the trigger there. Down the lane, lamp shot, high off the glass, no good. Rebound, Ramis. Ramis gets the man in the air, floats one up, no good. Rebound to Snyder. Mitchell fakes for a three, doesn't take it. Inside, Patinia mid range, high archer, back iron, no good. Rebound shot after Ramis through his legs. They're not calling over the back. Here's Alec Mitchell. He's gonna uncork one. High, back iron, no good. Rebound, drop, no. Rebound, Patinia, no. Rebound, off the hands of Faith. Oh, wow, a lot of good opportunities for the Conquerors. Couldn't get it to go. Top of the key, Horry. Right corner, Ballesteros, top of the key, Horry. Right corner. That's Cayman Gray, puts it on the floor. Good defense by Christian Petinia. Got his hands in there. Seven to three. Trailing it by four are the Conquerors. Coach Spooner wants them to push it in transition. Petinia will try another one. Side rim, rebound. Mitchell off his hands. Faith clears. They've got two on none. Gets his man in the air. Fakes five by. Nope. Not good defense by Petenia. He kind of flew right by. And it's good for two for Christian Adams. It's been all Ramis on the offensive end. Inside to Mitchell. Bad idea by Mitchell. He turned it over. And here they come, trailing it by six. The Knights have possession. Puts it on the floor into Cayman Gray. Up. No foul. Ramis has it. Here comes Silas Snyder. Bring it up over the timeline. Pass inside to Ramis. Puts one on the floor. Scoop layup shot. Off the margin. No good. Here comes Gray. And he got it bumped and fouled by Edmund Schrock. Into the ball game comes Joey Tarks. for Faith. Nine to three, Faith basketball leading it by six. And instead it's gonna be a 30 second timeout called by coach, assistant coach, Rodney Delhay of the Conquerors. Tonight's senior night, they have a lot of good food specials for the fans. The seniors are raising money for their senior trip. They're gonna go to Indianapolis in April, but they're raising some money for that. They made a nice big banner on the North end of the gym. And with all their names, with the sport they play, Colt, Leslie, Melody, Alec, Bruna, Titus, and Reagan, they spent a lot of time making that. Then they have the front, the cafe area, all decorated nice and neat for this special time, the senior night. This event was preceded by a volleyball matchup between the Knights and the Con Conquerors. The Knights came away with the win in two sets. But back here for basketball, Horry, right corner Ballesteros. 
faith is very judicious with the basketball. They don't they don't make a lot of bad mistakes. They don't turn it over very much. The game is slow for Faith, and that's very good for them. The Conquerors need to slow things down on the offensive end. Pass inside. Moeller got his elbow in there. Moeller tried to jump the passing lane, and he gets whistled for the foul. That puts them up to six personals. Here comes Ramos over the timeline. Colt drove right into a crowd. Didn't get the call. Alec, layup. Alteration by Alec Mitchell. Snyder tries to come out of there with the ball. Snyder's going to take a seat for the place of Roman Dele. Faith leads by six. Alex Horry. Tarks into Gray. Back to the top of the key. Horry. The Tarks wide open three. He'll uncork one. Way long. Rebound Muller. Ahead to Ramis. Nice outlet pass to Schrock. And a run out left. Go! Edmund Schrock for two. It's nine to five. They're setting up the 2 2 1 pressure. Whistle, foul call. That's going to be whistled against Titus Ramos. Third of the quarter for the Conquerors. Edmund Schrock got the crowd on their feet with a, with a layup to pull it within four. Holt Muller, I'm sorry, whistled for the personal foul. That's his second. Holt Muller with the foul. The Conquerors need to stop on defense. Keep this momentum going. The Knights are looking to stop that momentum with a ba basket. Foul stairs at the top of the key. Again, the slow-moving Faith offense. Hill on court bat. Way long. Rebound Ramis. To Dele. Lost it. Out of bounds. Coach Spooner wanted the foul call for grabbing the arm. Roman Dele was trying to clear in transition. And the ball was poked free, and it was off of Dele himself. Ballesteris puts it on the floor, lost it. Truck, steal. Here come the Conquerors. This is going to be big to get a score here. Here comes Delhe, and he lost the handle. Don't really know what happened there. Tarts the other way. Layup, good. And that is momentum right there. Delhe, a bad turnover. And on the other side, Joey Tarts pays it off. Alec puts it on the floor, layup, good. What a play by Alec. Mitchell up with the left hand. A pretty looking shot from the senior, Alec Mitchell. They break the pressure. Cayman Gray forces one up. It's no good. Rebound, Muller. Ramis, Dele. Good defense by Faith. Dele having all sorts of problems with this Faith defense. Mitchell on cork a three. It's good! Alec Mitchell for three! I thought I'd never see the day! What a play from Alec Mitchell. He has never hit a three before, and he's only attempted one in his whole career. And he drills it for three. Damon Gray, pass inside. Adam, rejected by Mitchell. Up ahead to Delhe. 11 to 10. Here they come. Delhe through a crowd. Off the glass, around, out. In and out. So close from Delhe. Alec Mitchell calmly just stopped and popped and drilled it. He traveled with the basketball. Alec Mitchell stepped in with beautiful defense. There wasn't the foul call for the push, but that was completely clean defense. Here they come on the offensive end. We got a man trailing behind, trying to watch Ramis. They'll uncork one behind the backboard. 
Not really a smart shot from Ramis. And here comes Faith, leading it by one, 11 to 10. Adams slows it down, and Ballesteros, the top of the key. Swing it around. Before he gets around his man, back to the top of the key. Setting up their offense. It's a Ballesteros three. Off the back rim. Rebound, Ramis. To Delhey. Mitchell pops it free. It's out of bounds. Nice defense by Alec Mitchell. Coach Spooner is not liking the foul calls here. They're, they seem like they're on Roman Delhey's arm, but he's got to get that pass off. Been a couple of costly turnovers near half line. It's 10, 11 to 10 Faith on the inbounds play. They get it in to a wide open Gray who forces one up off the backboard. Way too long. Long pass in by Edmund Trott. He's on a run out. Rejected out of there and staying with the Conquerors. Good take by Edmund Schrock. He got rejected from behind, but it'll be Conquerors basketball with a chance to take the lead. 114 left to play in our first half. Delhay, mid range, up, short, rebound, safe. Long pass up ahead. Corey settles it. Yo yo in that ball in between the legs. Oh, he squirts through the defenders, gets his man in the air, forces one up. No good. No box out. Rebound underneath the legs to Gray. Hell ball, possession error going to the Conqueror. End line, out of bounds. Faith with a bad inbounding mistake off the end line, and they're going to call that every time. They step up, oh, he threw it away. Schrock tried to insert the pass inside. Not a good decision. People were everywhere, and here comes Faith. Silas Snyder to the scorer's desk. 37 seconds and ticking. Oh, he, he popped it free, but they're going to call a foul on Roman Dele. Number 11, and that's his third foul. He's definitely going to have to take a seat. He's got to be careful with those reach-ins. They're going to call that every time. Muller guarding the inbounds play. 33 seconds and ticking in our first half. 11 to 10, Faith. Very low scoring first half of action. Passing it back and forth. Mid-range, Adams, Brick, rebound Mitchell to Ramis. 14 seconds and left, 13. Down to 10 seconds left in our first half. Mitchell. Oh, he, he turned it over with five, with four. Layup, good, with two. Titus Ramis from deep, no good. Uh, big mistake by the Conquerors. They turned it over when they needed to not turn it over the most. And instead of going to halftime down by one or leading, they're instead going into halftime trailing it by three. A very entertaining first half. 13 to 10, Conquerors on top. Right before the second half commences, we'll bring you your first half stats and the keys to the second half. Conquerors and Knights, 13 to 10, Faith. 10 minutes on the halftime clock. We'll be right back.
We're basically ready for the start of the second half here between the Knights and the Conquerors. We're going to get you the first half stats. Leading the way for the Conquerors, Alec Mitchell with six. Two each for Titus Ramos and Edmund Schrock. That adds up to ten for the Conquerors. And then for the Faith Knights, leading the way with four each, Akira Hori and Joey Tarks. Three for Cayman Gray. And then rounding out the score, scoring in the first half for the Knights with two is Christian Adams. We're about ready for our second half. Thanks for watching tonight. Senior night, Knights and Conquerors. And it's been, it was a fun night so far. And we're about ready to get this thing underway here for the second half. About to get this thing underway here for the second half. And the possession arrow is pointing to the Conquerors. They'll inbound to start second half. They're within three after that poor shooting performance in the first half. I think all things considered, that's an acceptable score. Could be better. Delay puts on the floor. Ramis, top of the key, Mitchell, calmly shoots. Can't find the range from three. And here comes the Faith Knights. In transition, Akira Hori drives down the lane, stops with the dribble, travels. He slid that pivot foot, and it's going to be a turnover, and the ball's going back to the Conquerors. Good stop on defense. Alec Mitchell misses the three to start. Turnover, Conquerors. Adams down the lane, layup good. Nice play by Christian Adams. Titus Ramis, mid-range day, off the margin, no good, rebound Knights. 15 to 10 in favor of Faith, and here they come. Here on senior night, Alec Mitchell, Colt Moeller, Titus Ramis, Edmund Schrock, Roman Delhay, the five for the Conquerors. Christian Adams, Ben Ballesteros, Alex Horry, Cayman Gray, and Joey Tarks for the Knights who are in the... And it's a three. Ballesteros in and around and out, rebound, jump ball, held ball, possession arrow. Possession error goes to Faith. But on the rotating possession, the next time it's going to be. There's a three from Horry. He'll uncork one way long. Bowler. And they're on defense. Nice play. Titus Ramos. Long pass up ahead. Colt Bowler through his hands and a turnover. Here comes Faith. 15, Titus Ramos gets whistled for the personal foul. It's his first. Corey at the top of the key. Faith leading the scoring here in the second half, 2 0 for a five point lead. Right corner, Ballesteros, top of the key, Horry. Oh, fakes right, goes left, floater. Good. Nice play by Horry. And that's his sixth point for the Faith Knights. A turnover, another one. That's three for the Conquerors. Starts, no, out of bounds, Conqueror ball. Four nothing run to start the half here for the Conquerors. They've really got to find their rhythm on offense. They can't seem to get anything. They have, they've only attempted but one shot here. The rest have been turnovers. Pass inside, rejected by Mitchell. That nearly went in. <laughs> Titus Ramos on the other end to Roman Delhay. The shot. Fakes up. Back to Ramos. Steps into a mid-range shot. Back iron. No good. Rebound. Fate. Conquerors need to stop on defense as Horry brings it up over the timeline. Pass inside, Gray, Ballesteros, back inside. Trot, gets in there, doesn't get the ball. Horry, up, good. What a play by Alex Horry. Akira Horry, sorry. Keep mispronouncing that. Here come the Conquerors.
Akira again, rejected. No. Nope. Alec Mitchell with a wonderful block, but he got called for the personal foul. So that'll be his third personal to the line. Akira Hori, and he's going to shoot two personal free throws. First one's up. Back iron. No good. Into the game for the Conquerors, Silas Snyder. He's taking the place of Edmund Schraub. Coach Pinner doing a little bit of chiding there on the sideline. The free throw is up, and the free throw is nothing but the bottom for Akira Hori. It is 20 to 10. 10-point lead, 7-0 run for the Conquer for the Knights, sorry. Titus will scoop and score. Ramis for two. Nice play. That's his fourth point. And the Conquerors are in the scoring column here for the second half. It's 20 to 12. That full court pressure. Long pass. Gets it to Horry. Into Adams. He misses. Rebound Ramis. He goes around. What a play by Ramis down the lane. Right corner. We got a foul call. The body check. On number 23 for the Knights, that's Cayman Gray. It's his first personal foul. No, that's his second. It's the, just the team's first, though, of the half. Cole, shoot, miss, rebound, face, 20 to 12. And a held ball, possession arrow going back to the Conquerors. Nice play by Colt Muller. He got his hands in there. Nice play on defense. Comes Alec Mitchell. Pass inside to Muller. Mitchell, up fake. Down the lane. Up. No. But he got fouled, and two free throws are coming for Alec Mitchell. Nice play. Faked up, went around. Earns two free ones. He's going to the charity strike. Foul whistle against number 32 for Faith. That's Ben Ballesteros. It's his second, and it's the team's second of the half. Mitchell to the free throw line. He's one for two from the line today. That one's good. And it's 20 to 13. The Conquerors trail it by seven. Alec trying to make it six with the free throw. Dribble, dribble. Free throw up. It's good. It's 20 to 14. The crowd is slowly getting back into it. <clears throat> Snyder up on the full court pressure. Oh, and a Horry dribbles right through. Adams layup. Good. What a play by Akira Horry. Wonderful. Adams with his sixth. Inside to Ramis. Gets his man in the air. Floater. No good. Rebound Mitchell. Up fake. Good. What a play by Alex Mitchell on the pivot. 22 to 16. Horry in takeover mode. Tarts. Gray. Score. Nice play. 24 to 16. Conquerors need to stop on defense. Oh, the hesitation. Mitchell down the lane. He scores. And one. And one for Alec Mitchell. Alec Mitchell now is in takeover mode. He's earning another free throw. He's up to 12 on the night. Chance to make it 13. 24 to 18 in favor of Faith with 321 left to play. And the first and only for Alec Mitchell, as it's an and one, is up in the air. Bouncing on the rim and through, and it's 24 to 19. Full court pressure. Horry around his man. Floater in the lane. It's up. Off the back iron. No good. Rebound Bowler. Skies for the rebound. Number 12, Akira Horry whistled for the personal foul. That's his first. Up to team number four, though, for the half. Here comes Ramis. Dell it. 
down the lane. Scoop layup shot. No good. Not a good shot. Ramis stole it. He stole the bacon. No good. And the rebound to Faith off the hands of Ramis going back to Faith. Titus Ramis with a nice play. Roma Delhe with an interesting looking shot. Didn't go in. And we got a personal foul. It's on number 32. Foul whistle against Colt Moeller. That's his third personal foul. Third for the team in the half, and they're trailing it by five. Pass inside to Gray. Puts it on the floor. Forces one up. No good. Rebound Mitchell. Fidelhead. To Ramis. Off the glass and good. Titus Ramis with two. Nice play. He's got six on the day. And they're leading it. They're trailing it 24-21. Moeller from behind. Got a personal foul. Colt Moeller from behind. And that's his fourth foul. He's going to have to take a seat here. Fourth personal foul for the Conquerors on the half. Alistair's right corner, top of the key. Akira Hori, back to him, puts on the floor, inside to Adams. Spinning, spinning. Oh, he got his man in the air, forces up a mid-range shot. Off the front iron, rebound, Snyder, out of bounds. To the Conquerors. A chance to tie it with a three. Get within one with a two. Nice pass by Schrock, back to the other side. Titus puts it on the floor, layup. Got blocked by the backboard, and here they come on the offensive end. Faith. Hori, stop, pop, mid-range, beautiful shot from Akira Hori. He is filling it up here in this second half. Another foul whistle against Faith. That's on number one, Joey Tarks. Got his man from behind. And so, as that's the fifth team foul in the quarter, they're going to the free throw line, and they're going to shoot one and one. The Conquerors are. It's Roman Dele. A lack of scoring from Delhe today. He's typically their leading scorer. Today he has been held scoreless. Maybe this will break the ice. They're trailing it by five. The first one's up. Front rim bouncing and through, and he earns the bonus. 26-22, trying to make put him within three. Delhe at the free throw line. Bouncing, bouncing, free throw up. Short off the rim, rebound. Ramis, what a play. Back to Ramis, layup, scoop, no good, rebound, shot. Snyder for three. And we've got three free throws coming for the Conquerors. Silas Snyder fouled in the act of a three-point shot. And so Silas Snyder's going to the free throw line. A good play by him to collect the loose ball. Foul list against number 20, Alex Luco. His first, team sixth. First is up, and good. Nothing but the bottom for Silas Snyder. He's into the scoring column for the first time. So he's earning all three shots, so this is just the second of three. It's up, and good. Nice shot from Silas Snyder, and the third one is on it's way. It's a two-point game. The Conquerors were down by 10 at one point. They're only down by two now. And into the game for the first time for the Conquerors, Richard Valadares wearing, I don't have his number here. He's wearing number 12. Going to write him in. The third one is nothing but the bottom for Silas Snyder. And they're within one.
One point game late in the third quarter with just a minute left to play. Corey. Now the stairs. Luco puts it on the floor and instead it's a little trip foul. It's limited, limited contact. It looked like he tripped on his own feet, but they're calling it on Ramos. Now it's against Titus Ramos. Shooting at the free throw line, number 20, John Damien. We're live. Free throw is too long. Crispin Petinia, affectionately referred to as Crispy by his teammates, is going to come into the game. And that one's way off the mark. Air ball. And they're going to stop the play. And it's going back to the Conquerors. 56.3 seconds left to go in our first half. The third quarter, I should say. And the Conquerors are within one after trailing by 10 at one point. 20 to 10. They're on a 15 to 6 run over the last couple of minutes. Drop. Ramis, mid-range, long, bouncing off the rim, twice, three times, no good. Mitchell, clears, foul. Nice play by Alec Mitchell, who's going to the free throw line for two more free throws. He has been very good from the free throw line today. He's attempted it five times, and he has made four of those five. He's 80% on the day. He's earned two more free throws. Seventh team foul. That one whistled against at Christian Adams. It's his, his second foul of the evening. The first one is up from Alec Mitchell. Airborne and good. And tie ball game. 26 apiece. Conquerors and Knights. Always a fun matchup between the Knights and the Conquerors here at the Conquerors gym. Short off the rim, rebound off the hands of Chris Beats to Titus Ramos. Christian will fire. And score, Christian Coutinho for two. What a play by Christian Coutinho. And the crowd goes wild. 28-26. 15 seconds left in our third quarter. The Knights now trail it for the first time in the ball game. And they're trailing it by just two. Corey dictates the offense. With five, he's going to go. Dre, back, in. Adam, one, won't get it off. That's the end of our quarter with the Conquerors and the Knights. And a good one here at the Conquerors gym. It's the Conquerors 28. It's the Knights 26. What a lively third quarter. At the start of that third quarter, I was getting a little worried for the Conquerors. They got down by as many as 20 to 10. They ended the half on an 18 to 6 run to take a two point lead. I think the main component of that has been wonderful defense. And then, of course, Alec Mitchell took matters into his own hands with the help of Titus Ramos, who had four in the quarter. Petenia scored two, but Ramos scored four. Silas Snyder made all three of his free throws, but Alec Mitchell was the story. He made eight points just in that third quarter, made three of his, four of his five free throw attempts in the quarter, and he's up to five for seven for the game. So a wonderful job by Alec Mitchell here in our third quarter. Of course, scoring for the Faith Knights, they did score 13 points in the quarter as many as they had scored in the previous half. Two for Kamen Gray, four for Christian Adams, and seven for Alex Torrey, who had a good quarter. The Conquerors scored 10 in the first two halves of action, including just three in the first quarter. They answered with 18 points in the third, and we are ready for the last stanza of Conquerors Knights. It's going to be a good one. Conquerors by two, and possession is going to the Knights. Here they come over the timeline. Akira Fori.
Top of the key, Horry. Thinks better of a three. Came in gray, swing it, Horry. Good passing by the Knights. Adams, shot, block, rebound, Ramis. Mitchell, scores. Nice play by Alex Mitchell for two. The full court press is broken easily by Horry. 30 to 26. Alec Mitchell continues his hot scoring stretch. A long right side three, side iron off the foot of a fake knight. It's going to the Conquerors, leading it by four. Roman Dele is going to check in the ball game. It's going to take place of Edmund Schrock. A quick seat for Schrock. They're risking Delhe here with three personal fouls. Moeller still on the bench with his four. Conquerors have rattled off. Fall away. Floater. No good. Rebound. Faith. Another block. And then Alec Mitchell is all over. Came in gray right now on the defensive side of the ball. Thinks better of yanking on a three. Snyder gets to a spot. Mid-range shot. No good. Rebound, Ramis. Ripped out of there by Tarks. He's on the offensive end. Layup. Good. And one, and one for Joey Tarks. Nice play by him. With the big guys bearing down on him. He put it up calmly, coolly, and collectively. Threw it in. 30 to 28 for Tarks on the, in the quarter. He's going to get a free throw. The foul whistled against Alec Mitchell. That's now his fourth. Not good news for the Conquerors as now Moeller, who has four, is going to take the place of Alec Mitchell, who has four. And Tarks is going to have a free throw. Chance to pull him within one. Conquerors, largest lead four just a minute ago. That's broken by Tarks. And it's 30 to 29. It's going to be an exciting finish here, Conquerors Knights. And another turnover for Delhe. Horry, playoff, good. And the lead goes back to the Knights. Akira Horry for two. A push on the Knights. Not smart. That's just not smart basketball. As he's in transition, they're going to call that hip check every time. Foul whistled against number one, Joey Tarks of the Knights. First personal on the quarter. Oh boy, you called him on the arm. You hold him on the arm. They don't like to call. I certainly do. As Romadelli is going to check back into the ball game and take the place of Silas Snyder. It's going to be conquer a ball, trailing it by one with 551 left to play. No one gets open. Delhay for three. Missed it. And in transition, Horry again. He has been lethal on the transition offense, and he scores yet again. Akira Horry. He's had a, and a turnover. Shot turned it over. Horry, shot, scored. Again, Horry is filling it up. 35, 30, Knights. Just like that, rattle off nine unanswered, a 9 nothing run for the Knights. The Con Conquerors at one point led 30 to 26. It's now 35 to 30. Akira Hori has rattled off six in a row unanswered for the Knights. So Coach Spooner, of course, the, the timeout was taken by Coach Mike Bragg of the Knights, but Coach Spooner is going to use this to his advantage. Try to get things sorted out on the offensive end. You're going to look for the Conquerors to establish more offensive rhythm, that rhythm that they had in the third quarter with Mitchell and Ramis, and they've got to realize that those are their offensive weapons. Of course, Roman Delhe has been, has been virtually non-existent this game. He has just one point. So he's going to need to step up a little bit here, too. It'd be nice to see the Conquerors hit at one of their threes. They have just one on the day. In fact, 
for, for both teams, we've only seen one three go down, and that was Alec Mitchell, the most unlikely of any player on the court to have hit that three. He calmly, coolly, and collectively threw it up and threw it through. 5.30 left to play in our fourth quarter of action. Here comes Schrock with the basketball. He's a young player. He is very talented. He's learning, and he nearly had another turnover. Nice play by Schrock. Oh, Dele scores. Almost a turnover. Instead, it's two for Dele. He breaks the ceiling on his scoring, and as his first two, it's 35-32. Five minutes and five seconds left to play. And Colt Muller up with a foul. And as his fifth foul, that will find him a seat for the rest of tonight, today's game. The only problem with that is Alec Mitchell is going to have to see the court, and he was their high scorer there in that third quarter. He's got four fouls. He's got to be very careful on the defensive end. Alasteris fakes up. <laughs> he turned it over. Alec Mitchell with it. Not your everyday point guard. 440 left to play. Roman Dele with the basketball. Oh, he got his man in the air. Fakes up. Mid-range. Good. Alec Mitchell for two. Nice shot from Alec Mitchell. Continues his scoring threat. It's 35-34. Mitchell has had just a wonderful game. Corey, mid-range. He's been ice cold. Every run the Conquerors have made, at the end of it, you see a name, and it's Akira Hori. 37-34. Delhay nearly lost possession of the basketball. Coach Spooner of the Conquerors yells for time as the Conquerors are going to have possession, trailing it by three with four minutes left to play. been an interesting game so far. It's been a game of runs. The Conquerors got down by as many as 10. They trail now by just three. 37-34 with 4.05 left to play in our fourth quarter. This is that time of the game where you need a senior to step up fitting as it is senior night here for the Conquerors. Timbound, the senior Titus Ramos to Delhay. Puts it on the floor inside to Christian Batinia. Jump ball, possession, conquerors. And the ball will be inbounded again by Ramos. They've got to keep that ball high. Delhay shoots, misses, a wide open layup. Drop to Delhay, to Mitchell. Oh, it's rejected out of there. Alec Mitchell got rejected out of there, but it's out of bounds going back to the Conquerors again. They're going to do it again on the inbounds play. Mitchell for three. Way long. Rebound. Over the back. No call. Rebound faith. Probably not the most wise of shots, but Alec has hit one today. 37-34. Faith on the offensive end, trying to play keep away now with just three minutes left to play, leading it by three. Just passing it around. That's their job right now, just kill clock. They're winning. They have the game under control right now. Here they go. Timeout, Coach Mike Bragg. Thirty-seven, thirty-four, three minutes remaining in our fourth quarter of action. Thanks for joining us here tonight from the Conqueror's Gym here at Fairhaven Baptist Church in Christian Academy. It's Fairhaven Christian Academy Senior Night. 
They had some nice festivities in between the volleyball game, which the Faith Knights took in two sets. Recognizing the seven seniors, Colt Moeller, Leslie Avina, Melody Schreiber, Alec Mitchell, Brenna Wilcox, Titus Ramnus, and Reagan Snyder. Here at the culmination of the events for tonight is the basketball game between the Cockers and the Knights. In a game that's been a game of runs, the Faith Knights went ahead by as many as 10. The Cockers went ahead by as many as four. A nine nothing run gave the Knights the lead again. And they lead now by three. They do have possession of it. And we're about to eclipse the three minute mark when possession commences for the Knights. Their job right now is just to play keep away. To inbound it is Christian Adams. He's looking, finds Ballesteris, who finds Corey, who's been the money man for the Knights today. Spin, shoot, score. What a shot from Akira Ori. Nice shot. And he already has 10 in the quarter. And a turnover. Bad time for a turnover. And now Ori, who's dicing up the defense. Delhaye, the back pick. And he got back picked, and that gets whistled for the personal foul. 39-34. Just three fouls. That's Joey Tarks. That's his third personal. Drop, turn it over. An unwise turnover by the Conquerors. It's a five-point game and a full timeout taken by Coach Mike Bragg. The worst possible time for a turnover. Schrock gives it to Fate. And they took time. Two minutes and 35 seconds left to play. That's enough time to come back, but turnovers are not going to help the cause. And that was exactly what they did for him. Here in the fourth quarter, three fouls against Faith, just two for the Conquerors. But the storyline of the half has been Akira Hori. He's got 10. An unbelievable half for him. He is up to 21 on the evening. Joey Tarks scored three here in the quarter. And he's up to nine on the night. Six for Christian Adams and then five for Damon Gray. Alec Mitchell had a great third quarter. Slowed down a bit here in the fourth. He still has two or four here in the fourth quarter. Two for Roman Dele. But the Conquerors here, costly turnover here late in the game. Gives the ball back to Faith. And they're going to have possession of it when play commences. To inbounds it, Christian Adams on the court for the night. Akira Hori, Joey Tarks, Ben Ballesteris, and Cayman Gray for the Conquerors. Titus Ramos, Alec Mitchell, Christian Petinia, Silas Snyder, and Rome Dele. No molar, fouled out. Corey scores. Wow, he's got 12 in the quarter, and he has scored them when they mattered the most. Dele, foul. Ramis, inbounds, Delhe. And now he's not looking for the basketball. Adams, other side, layup, good. Adams, runaway layup. And it's the lead stout up to nine. Foul again. And that's five personal fouls. Well, here late in the game, it has been a story of Faith taking advantage of Conqueror turnovers and paying them off on the offensive end. Titus Ramos to the free throw line. He's going to get two free throws. But with two minutes left, you're going to have to play some great defense and score some shots. First one's up, back at rim, out. And he misses the first. 
Akira Hori has been the story. Two minutes left to play. Dribbles twice, three times, four times, five times. Picks it up, shoots, and scores. A nice shot from Titus Ramos. Makes the second of two lead down to eight with a minute 55 left to play. Great effort there. Jumps on the floor, secures the loose ball. Calls timeout. And so now Coach Spooner's talking strategy here. No doubt to set up some, some sort of full court pressure and try to get some turnovers, and then it'll be the fouling game from now on. An exciting game here until the end where Akira Hori, 12 points for the Faith Knights, accounting for all but five of their fourth quarter points. Conquerors came into this quarter leading it by two. They trail now by 10. It's a 12 point swing and Akira himself has scored 12. So he alone is the difference. Coach Spooner talking strategy. Coach Mike Bragg on the other side is just telling us guys, don't turn it over. <laughs> That's worst case scenario. And second of all, don't foul. No needless fouls. No doubt what he's saying to his guys. And here they come. The Conquerors take the court. Silas Snyder wearing number 22, Alec Mitchell. Christian Patinia, Loma Dele, and Titus Ramos, the two seniors, Alec and Titus. Last, we well, got a home game tomorrow, but one of their last home games of the year before the tournament, end of year tournament. Dele, fall away, mid range, short off the iron, no good, rebound face. Alec Mitchell dives on the floor, can't control it. Akira Hori, gonna dribble this thing down as much as he can until a foul is called. Nice defense by the Conquerors, but they've got to try to get the ball now. Wrong pass, other side of the court. Ben Ballesteros with a minute now left to play. We got a little cranial foul. <laughs> he got whacked across the face. Joey Tarts has it over the timeline. Oh, he spits the defenders down the lane through the hands of Cayman Gray. Turnover. But with 52 seconds left to play in our game, the Conquerors are going to need some late lightning. Drop. Snyder into Ramos. Shoots around the rim and out. Out of bounds off fate. Man, the Conquerors just can't buy one here late. And... Ramos is going to inbound. Faith has done a good job of not turning the ball over. The Conquerors, alas, have not. Fade away, fall away, three, side rim, side iron, run out. Christian Adams up, in. And that might seal the deal here for the Conquerors. 47, 35, 32 seconds left to play. So, well, the Conquerors here late in the game. Here late in the game, the Conquerors have turned it over. <laughs> the Knights have not. And it seems that Akira Hori has been able to hit a lot of his shots, and the Conquerors haven't been able to buy one here late in the game. And that's the difference, really, for the, for the whole game. And the subs have checked in for the Conquerors. In the game, Tresden Wilcox, Brandon Sarah, Seth Fletcher out there with the lone starter, <laughs> Titus Ramos. And here they come over the timeline. Gives off to Fletcher. Back to Ramos. Fall away. Fade away. It's good for Titus Ramos for two. Mid range. Off back iron. No good. Brandon Sarah the rebound. Off his hands. Foul on Brandon Sarah. And in the ball game for the Conquerors, Marshall Snyder, brother of Silas Snyder, who 
played earlier for the Conquerors. Faith with four seconds left, with three, with two, with one at the buzzer. No good. Rebound. Up in at the buzzer. Christian Adams pays it off for two as the end of the game. Horn sounds. And that is going to wrap up our scoring, and that's going to wrap up our game here today. 49-37. The final score. The win goes to the Faith Knights. A very well-played basketball game, but a late run by Akira Hori and the Faith Knights sealed the deal. We're going to get you our end-of-the-game stats in just the blink of an eye. Give us one second. Now it's time to wrap up our scoring here for the ball game. Leading the way for the Conquerors with 18, the senior, Alec Mitchell. He had a wonderful day from the field. Very, very well done job by him. He led all Conquerors with 18, with nine, Titus Ramos, with three each, Roman Delhay and Silas Snyder, and with two, Christian Patinia and Edmund Trout. For the Faith Knights, highest score for both teams, and by far your most valuable player, the MVP, number 20, number 12, Akira Hori. He filled it up 23, 12 of those coming in the fourth quarter, and 19 of them coming in the second half. 10 points for Christian Adams, 9 points for Joey Tarks, and then rounding out the scoring for the Faith Knights. Payment Gray with seven. Final score, it's the Knights 49 and the Conquerors 37. And thank you for joining us here on Fairhaven Media's coverage of Fairhaven Christian Academy Conquerors basketball.